Okay, in this video I'm actually going to show you how to use the scripts that we've uh, installed in the previous video. A couple things to note here is basically what happens is this game sends out an auto attack on a target of your choice. You can use this to auto farm shanks, pythist, rbcs, really whatever you want. You can even auto farm people nearby if you truly wanted, from what I tell in the script. Now, um, something I've noticed in a little bit of testing I just did is if, for instance, I want to script 100,000 troops, down here in my Vampire Bats, I have this odd number of 74,667. Now, sometimes when it sends these marches, it'll overdo that, it'll overwrite that number and give you an even 100,000 back. However, sometimes I've noticed it doesn't really do it. It'll just keep sending out the 100,000 and leave 74,000 you see. So, a way I figured out to kind of get the system to jump start and work is what I'll do is I'll reinforce a wild, a city, or whatever it is nearby, and put this odd number of troops into that wild. So now that I have the even 100,000 vampire bats. Now what I'll do is I'm going to pick a target. I'm going to use this uh, RBC right here, this level 2 RBC. So I'm going to hit the attack tab and I'm going to type in the chords to that RBC. Just make sure I got this right. And then I'm going to type in the troops I want to send. Now from what I can tell is if you want to send multiple types of troops, you can. As long as you're not sending more than you have. So I can't type in 70,000 grunts and I have 700 here. Now I can show you how you can script these, it'll send out multiple marches, and you can script over and over, and you can keep duplicating the troops over and over and over until you have, you know, a million or whatever it is you want to have. But I'm just going to stick with the basics for now with the Vampire Bats, obviously the more you have, the faster this is going to go. So I'm going to type in the 100,000, and I'm going to hit Zerg Rush. And if you go to the Pending Jobs tab, you can see all of these right here. I'm just going to hide this, and then I'm just going to go in the City View, and it's going to take a second for this program to kickstart in action. Kabam server has been ru running very slow lately, so even these troops are having a hard time sending troops as fast as they normally could. Now one thing you can do is, you're waiting for the little green words that says, you know, troops marching right here. And obviously I don't see anything over here, so if you want to refresh this, you can refresh the game, but it's easier just to go over to your general script, hit the appoint tab, and then close. And it'll show you what happens. So I have one, two, three, four, five marches, 100,000 of these were mine, the other 400,000 are duplicated troops. And King Jobs, let's remove all, and it's not going to do anything. And I'm just going to wait for these troops to get back. Now, one thing to note is, let's say you're trying to send out, like, you know, trucks or something like that, 100,000 trucks. Obviously, trucks being very weak, I can show you the stats here. You know, they don't have much in the way of attack, or defense, or life. So what you can do is you can duplicate troops, and when the march is actually march, Go to the pending jobs, hit remove all, and then go to your assembly point and recall them before they hit their targets. That way the marches are still duplicated and sent, you're not recalling them, you're getting the extra troops back, and they're not going to hit the other target, and you're not going to lose a bunch. So that's you know some notes to keep in mind. And as I said, you can use this for the small marches, so I could have typed in 700 grads, 100 trucks, you know, and all that, as long as it met what the max troops was. In this case, I have 100,000 because my level 10 assembly point. It'll, it'll send all of those out and it'll duplicate them and then you know you can do that over and over and over so the troops are returned see so I have the 500,000 vampire bats and the 4,000 I have in the wild and I got the corresponding corresponding power jump from those free troops and I can do this over and over um, if you were to let this keep scripting over and over it'll start doing the more than the five marches eventually you'll get upwards of your ten marches or your maxes and you know you can have upwards of a million troops if not an even million so that's how the scripts work if anybody's interested and uh, if you have any questions you can ask me as I said I'm new to these I'm still trying to figure out myself so you're probably going to be nearly as knowledgeable as I am if you're testing these out